We're here in the shop with the Speedway Motors wireless scale set. And today we're gonna try these out. We're gonna put them under our Camaro race car here. And we're also gonna compare them to another compact scale set and see how they measure up. The very first thing that we notice about these is just how compact they are. You know, compared to other scale sets that we've used in the past, this case is just tiny, which is gonna make them easy to store here in the shop and even more critically easy to store in the trailer. And the other thing is these are super light. This whole works only weighs like 40 some pounds. And again, compared to other scale sets that weigh a ton more, you know, they're a pain to lug around the shop, even more so to lug out into the trailer. That's a major benefit of these scales. This scale set is compact and lightweight, largely because the pads themselves are very, very thin. They're made out of aluminum, so they're relatively lightweight. And unlike some other sets that we've seen where you have a separate box that the handheld is stored in, in these, the handheld is right there in the case along with storage for your spare batteries. Another thing that we really, really love about this scale set is that the pads will automatically turn themselves on when you pull them out of the case and put them on the ground. And then they automatically turn themselves off when you pick them up and put them back in the case. As we pull the pads out of the case and position them around the car, this is the point where we really appreciate that this is a wireless scale set. You know, if you've ever used a wired set, you know what a pain it can be. And we can see there's an LED indicator that shows the pad's status. And we can also see each individual pad sort of coming online on the handheld. All right, with all of our pads positioned here, we can actually see all of them on the handheld, which is really cool. So we can see we're at zero for everything. If we weren't, we would zero it here. We can see we have a battery indicator for each pad, as well as a battery indicator for the handheld. And so now we're ready to slide them under the car. Now, a couple of things we noticed as we we're positioning the pads here. One, because this is such a low profile pad, you don't have to have the car quite so high in the air to position them which might not seem like a big deal, but if you're in a big hurry trying to get the car on the scales, that can make a big difference. While this is a compact pad height-wise, it's still a 15-inch square. So this car has 355 wide tires on all four corners, and they still fit comfortably on this pad. So that's gonna make these usable for a wide variety of different race cars. All right, with the car situated on the pads, we can see the full picture here on one screen on the handheld without having to toggle through and without having to do any separate calculations for cross weight or bite. We can see each corner weight, we can see the total car weight, and then we can see front to rear percentages, left to right percentages, cross weight percentage, bite, and additionally, this has a backlight on the handheld. So it's all great if you're here in the shop, if you're in the pits and it's getting dark, you can actually have three backlight modes on this handheld. So that's really cool to have so much functionality here in this handheld. And we can have total confidence in what we're seeing here on the screen because another thing that we know about this scale set is it's assembled in the USA and tested in the USA before shipping. And it's also accurate to within a half a percentage point. So we feel very comfortable that what we're seeing represented here is actually the condition of the car. The next thing we're gonna try here, we have a similarly compact, similarly priced set of scales, and we're going to put these under the car and see how they compare to the Speedway Motor scales. So the setup here is very similar, similarly sized scale pads, same 7,000 pound total capacity as the Speedway Motor scales. One of the main differences that we're seeing here is what's displayed on the handheld. And this is a little bit more cryptic and a little bit less graphical than, than the Speedway Motors set. So on this, this first screen here, you see corner weights and then you see percentages of the whole, as well as then the total car weight. In order to access any of the per other percentages, you have to press this, hold the function button and then press the tear button and it will toggle you to the other screens. We had to consult the instructions in order to figure this out, and we also accidentally hit the tear button without hit pressing the function button, and it zeroed everything out with the car on it, and we had to start over. So there's a bit of a learning curve with these, but then you can see your front to rear percentage, you can see left to right percentage, and then cross weight as well. So a little bit less of an intuitive display on these, and 
to me, I would prefer to be able to see it all expressed on one screen to be able to keep my mind on the setup and not figuring out what buttons I needed to push on the handheld. At the end of the day, this Speedway Motors wireless scale set has a lot of features that we're used to seeing in more expensive scale sets and sometimes much bigger and heavier and more cumbersome scale sets.